بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما The next thing we'll try to understand about the IEEE and 802.0 standards. Now IEEE stands for Institute of Elect- Electric and Electronic Engineers. Electrical and Electronic Engineers, that's what you can see the abbreviation here. Now what the, exactly, it's a non-profit organization or we can say it is a kind of global association of a group of engineers, professionals. And probably you, know, you can see there are more than uh, these many members. and there will be technical uh, literatures and then annual conferences in different regions different countries so what they exactly do is they are responsible for something called development development of specific products or uh, implementing or ratifying the standards in, in one word we can say they are responsible for uh, defining a specific standards that can be used in different uh, different products which are relating to electrics and electronic engineers like developing the products or implementing the those particular products and ratifying the standards and also something like maintenance of the products and there are different fields it exactly covers like it can be relating to computer and electro electronic industries or even power and energy industries or consumer electronic devices or implementing some kind of a technology in the computers telecommunications and there are plenty of more now what they do is they are they are like group of engineers group of engineers students scientists they are the members here and what they do is they are going to ratify the standards based on specific protocols like how exactly this particular standard is going to work like let's take an example there is something called 802.11 standard which is this designed uh, design, designated for 802.11 for wireless wireless lan implementations or wireless implementations now exactly how this product is going to behave how this is going to work now whenever any vendor is going to introduce any wireless products so probably he is going to follow this particular standard so the way it works the way it has to be uh, you know the way it has to communicate or the way it has to send the signals so everything is defined as per the standards so what they do is they will define the standards on how exactly that particular product or is going to work and every vendor has to follow that particular uh, pro- particular standard so that they can interoperate with any other any other devices now when you talk about again iwb is best known for 802.11 and 802.3 standards which are typically used in our in our networks like 802.11 is used for wireless lan wireless implementations and 802.3 is for ethernet implementations So again, when you talk about 802. Dot standards, so we call it as 802. Dot X standards because the X represents different numbers. You can see there is one, two, three, four, like that. There are different standards, but the common part is 802. Dot 11 is common for all. Now these standards are specifically designed. 802. Dot standards are specifically uh, designated for your LAN and MAN implementations. like if you take an example 802.3 is is reserved for ethernet and then 802.11 for wireless networks 802.15 is for wireless pan and then bluetooth and like that you can see there are different standards of 802.11 here and on the right side you can see the different categories exactly what the standards will do and what they exactly define uh, is on the right side here 